So welcome to Atega Tech Academy. Today we'll be looking at a, a Norton's theorem question, which will require us to use delta star transformation in order to be able to calculate our Norton's resistance. So over the previous examples we've been covering, it's just our normal um, applications, resistors in series and power that we use. But here it will require us to use delta star transformation to calculate the resistance. Without wasting much time, let us get started. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe to this channel for more tutorial videos. Our first question says, use Norton's theorem to find the current across the 10 ohm resistor. All resistors are in ohms. So here, we realize that this is our 10 ohm resistor. This is the resistor that they are telling us that we should find the current across it. And our voltage source is 10. To find the current across it, applying the Thevenin's theorem, we we'll just take this 10 ohm resistor out. After taking our 10 ohm resistor out, we name the current flowing through it as IN. After naming the current flowing through it as IN, we need to calculate the total resistance, uh, the total resistance and the total current in the circuit because that will make our calculation simple we, we see that our circuit here is not all that simple it's somehow complex to first of all calculate the total resistance but we realize that this two and this six are in power because you see we can transverse the four and eight are also in power after combining these two they become in series then they also become in series with this so simply write it as uh, finding the total resistance two and six plus 4, 2 power 6 plus 4 power 8 plus 12. Solving that we get our final answer as um, 97 over 6 ohm. So that becomes our total resistance. And since we found our total resistance, we need to also find our total current. That means the current that is delivered by this 10 volt source. So it becomes the total voltage divided by the total resistance. So doing that, it becomes 60 over 7 amps. So what it means is that the current that is flowing through this, the IT, here is equals to 60 by 7 amps. Since this is 60 by 7 amps, meaning when this 60 by 7 amps gets here, it's placed into two. It will split some of pass here and some of pass here. We need to find the current that will pass here. And we see that the current that will pass through this branch, when it gets to this node 2, some will split and come and pass through the IN, and some will split and come and pass through this 4 ohm resistor. So let us also name this as I4 ohm. And name this as I2 ohm. That's the current through the 2 ohm resistor. So in order to find our IN, if we are able to find the current and we see we can apply KCL at this node. KCL says sum of current entering is equal to sum of current leaving. So we realize that I2, uh, I2 ohm will be entering this node. But the currents that are leaving are IN and I4 ohm. So in order to find IN, we simply do uh, algebra. That is i n will be equals to i2 minus i4 so when we find the current through i2 and i4 we'll be able to find i n so to do that uh, we need to use current division so using current division we, are, we want to find the current through the um, we want to find the current through the 2 ohm resistor and to find the current through the 2 ohm resistor, we simply take the opposite resistor. So that is the 6 divided by our 2 plus 6 times our total current to give us this value. And also to find the current through the 4 ohm resistor is the opposite current, which is a, uh, the opposite resistor 8 all over uh, 4 plus 8 times the total current, which gives us our answer as this. And now we now apply KCL at this node to find IN, uh, IN. So we can say to apply KCL, we can see that our I2 ohm is equals to our IN plus 
I four O. I four O. So doing that to find our I N is simply equals to I two O minus I four O. Then we just do our subtraction. So now we've now find uh, I N and in um, Norton's Norton's we need to find our Norton's current and our Norton's resistor. So now let us now find our Norton's resistance. Okay, so we now we've now found I N. So we need to find the Norton's resistance. To find the Norton's resistance R N, we have to redraw our circuit here to make it simple. So I can just uh, expand this, make it straight. I can just draw them in straight instead of this uh, shape. So I can expand this, expand here, then bring the 12 across them. So redrawing my circuit, I get something like this. Then I realize that I have a delta here. This is one delta. This is also another delta. 2, 12, 4 is a delta. 6, 12, 8 is a delta. And 4, 12, 8 is a star. And 2, 12, 6 is a star. So I have to choose either to convert one of the deltas to star or one of the stars to delta. But this entirely depends on me. And the trick here is that we have to choose a transformation that will make our circuit simple. So I'll decide to convert this delta to star. So converting this delta to star, I redraw my, my, my star there. So I name here as RA, RB, and RC. I've already recorded a video that I, I explained how to convert a delta to star. So we see that to convert this, to get RA, RA is the opposite resistors. Which resistors are opposite to RA? 2 times 4 all over the sum of the resistors in this delta. That is 2 plus. So that is a 2 times 4 all over 2 plus 4 plus 12. That is the opposite resistor divided by the sum of all the delta resistors you are considering. And to calculate for RB is 2 times 12 all over the sum of the resistors. Then to calculate for RC2 is also 2 uh, 12 times 4 all over the sum of all the delta resistors. And after calculating for all this, we realize that we can clean these two out, clean this 12 out, and clean this 4 out because we've resolved them into RA, RB. Resol resolving those ones, we now get our new circuit as this. And this is our RA. This is our RA, RB, and RC. But we realize that RB is in series with RC. So we add the value we get here. We add the 4, 4 over 3 to the 6, which we get 22 over 3. Then we also add this and this. So adding them, we realize this and this are in series. And they are all in series. And this and this, after doing that, you realize that this and this will become in power. When you resolve this and resolve this, they become in power and they become in series with RA. So finding our Norton's resistance, it becomes adding that this and this gives you 22 over 3. Adding this and this gives you 32 over 3 in series with RA, which is 4 over 9. Then we do our mathematics to get our answer as to get our Norton's resistance at 4.7901 ohm. So after getting our Norton's resistance, we need to draw our Norton circuit because we found our Norton's current too. So drawing our Norton circuit, we replace the 10 ohm that we took it out. So this is 10 ohm. Then let us name the current that will be passing through this 10 ohm as I 10 ohm. So since it's I 10 ohm, we found our I n, we found our R n, which is just here. So with our I n, we need to find the current. So to find the current, we apply current division here. It's the opposite resistor, which is RTH. So to find is the opposite resistor, which is 4.7901 divided by the sum of them, which is 4.79. I just approximated here, 4.79. But it's no good. Always write the full uh, values here to get an, a, a very accurate answer. Multiply by the total current, that is IN which is 5 over 97. So our answer we get becomes 0.0167 amps. So this is how we solve a question, a Norton's question that involves um, 
a delta star transformation so i'll give you a trial question your assignment question so that we will solve it and you will see how it goes our question is saying we should use Norton's theorem to find the current through this 3 ohm resistor. And to apply Norton's theorem, the first thing we do, we take the resistor out of the circuit. After taking the resistor out of the circuit, we just name the current flowing through it as IN. Then we need to find the total resistance in this circuit. To find the total resistance in this circuit, we realize that 2 and 3 are in parallel. This 3 and 3 are in parallel, then 2.4 and the 5 are in parallel and they all becomes in series with this three doing that we get we can find our total resistance as this after finding our total resistance we need to find the total current so to find the total current we divide it by the total resistance the total voltage by the total resistance then we get our total current as this then we need to now find the current that is flowing through this because realize that when the total current gets here it's placed between here and here so we find the current that is flowing through this then we apply kcl at this node to solve the value of i n so doing that we find the current flowing through the 3 ohm resistor by using this then we find the current through this 2.4 ohm resistor by using applying current division then we finally find the value of i n by subtracting it from uh, uh, the current through the 3 ohm resistor and the 2.4 ohm resistor then to get an answer of 0 0.287 after getting our answer we need to now calculate for the Norton's resistor to calculate for the Norton's resistor we can just redraw the circuit to this because here we just stretch this 3 we just stretch the arms see I just open the upper one and open straighten the bottom one so doing that this is the circuit I get I realize that there is a delta here and there is a delta here but this delta has all identical values so since it has all identical values so meaning whatever the each value i get for r a r b r it will be the same value so i simply do that so redrawing my circuit applying star delta transformation this is the circuit i get then i convert it so the opposite resistor this one and this one are opposite to r a so calculate r a i get r a as one r b as one and r c as one so doing that 1 plus the 2.4 becomes 3 and I add this and this I realize that they are in series then when I add them all the, this and this will be in parallel then in series with RA doing that I get this equation then I finally simplify it to come and get my RN as 3.1702 ohms so after doing this I just find my Norton's equivalent circuit so with my Norton's equivalent circuit I draw in my Norton's equivalent circuit. I just put my 3 here. Then I need to calculate for my the current through the 3 ohm. To calculate the current through the 3 ohm, I just divide the total uh, the resistance by this plus this plus the this one. Then I just get my total answer. So this is how we solve uh, this question. Right, so kindly take your time you can go through the other video to really understand please remember to like subscribe and share thank you very much for watching this video and if this video was really helpful to you don't forget to like share and comment please we have a telegram channel that uh, if you want to join you can uh, join and send questions and you feel free to contact us when you have further questions the telegram channel is same as the youtube channel so when you just go on telegram and you search you get us you can also uh, contact the the episode tutor on this number so thank you very much and please don't forget to like share and subscribe take good care of yourself i'm signing out bye